Today, Palm Springs is a thriving mecca of modern architecture. Fly me to the moon. Let me play up there with those stars. Let me see what life is So how did you like your tour of the Racket Club Garden Dogs? We absolutely loved it. It, it was, was great. Beautiful. Beautiful. Makes so us want to move here now. <laughs> so how did you like the tour of the Racket Club Garden Villas? It was fantastic. <laughs> really enjoyed it. <laughs> loved it. I definitely recommend it to anyone. The units are amazing and everybody's so friendly and nice and I ended up buying two places in the tennis district and I wish I would have came here first and looked at that. I love the community feel. So anyway, have fun. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Oh, best tour ever. We loved it. We, we loved it. We loved all the people, the places, the energy. The stories were great from all the homeowners. And uh, the Sinatra swimming in the pool. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Bloody Marys. And we want to know where ours is. The Bloody Mary was actually created at the Racquet Club. It was made out of necessity because they had so many parties, they had so much fun, they had to have something for the next morning. The recipe was given to their friends that had 21. So 21 Club might say that they're the ones that created the Bloody Mary, but it was created at the Racquet Club. Club Garden Villas and the landscape architect was Dunder Trudgett. This is the architect William Cody. Developer was Paul Truesdale. And his private casino here with a the pool. There, we have the second building here on the historic register. Because you are all I worship, all I long for. Welcome to your Racket Club. In other words, In the 1930s, there was one exclusive country club where stars went to relax, the Palm Springs Racquet Club. Actors Charlie Farrell and Ralph Bellamy opened it after getting kicked out of other clubs for monopolizing the tennis courts. So basically, the Racquet Club started as a place for them to play tennis anytime they wanted. And then their friends started playing tennis, then they needed a little, you know, a little room for refreshments and a place to change, and then there became a pool. It was just two men's idea of a place to have fun with their friends. How did you like the tour of the Racket Club Garden Village? Absolutely incredible. Highlight of the week. Excellent. Really, really wonderful. We just loved it. Wasn't it great? And if we have time, we'll come back. We're going to come back. I came all the way from Australia for this tour, and I'm so glad that we did. It's a wonderful, magical place. The architecture was amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. I want to live here one day. I would love to. We loved it. Loved it. Absolutely fabulous. I want to be here. We came to see what you've done with these places. And they're gorgeous. They gave me goosebumps. And I want to hang out at the pool. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you, but I don't want to leave. I want to hang out at the pool. Let me swing forevermore. Dudley because this is typical Dudley design with the jets and the sort of European shape to it. That's what Dudley has done his whole career. So I don't know, when the people come through, you mentioned William Cody and Truesdale, but mention Dudley, just mention his name. Okay, so you said that he's known for European swimming pools. So the design of a wolf because that was the very famous at the time and Linda Christian was here and that was with the suckling babies on and the three fountains. And Dudley would do that on all of his pools and that was very typical of what we always did. And your name is? Garrett Carlson. Garrett Carlson and? I'm a landscape architect and I worked with Dudley from the time I graduated till he died. Let me sing forevermore. 
So the Racquet Club Garden Villas for me was one of the most unique experiences I've seen in Palm Springs. We don't get water features like this running through an entire complex. And to see how these um, have been restored, some of them gingerly back to their original state, was just uh, uh, an unexpected pleasure today. I was told I was going to have a good time here, and I didn't. I had a phenomenal time. We vote this development number one. You like the tour? Um, I, I'm still in the middle of it, but so far it's fantastic. Every, every unit is more stunning than the next, and individual and unique and fantastic. I'm enjoying it. Special surprises that each of them are so different. That's what makes it so interesting. That's exactly it's unpredictable. what it is. And I think another plus is the owners are all fantastic, and they give great information, and they're able to share. And I think they're based on the docents. <laughs> Darren is my favorite host. <laughs> the Racket Club Garden Villas. I loved it. It was the best kept secret. I didn't know this existed. And if I hadn't gone on the Modernism Week tour, I would have never known this beautiful little sanctuary was even here. I loved it. We're jealous. We want yes. to Love your palm oasis. Very beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. It's uh, the ambience is. Uh, like no other place in Palm Springs. Hey, what did you think of the tour? This was the best tour. We've been to several, but this by far exceeds them all. Don't miss this one. So everybody went down there. Instead of living longer, they just partied harder. But I went to the Palm Springs Racquet Club to pick up girls. I didn't go there to pick up golf. And Tony didn't have to look too far. Young starlets like Donna Reed flocked to Charlie Farrell's Racquet Club. There's a great story. Tex, the bartender, which everybody loved, was at the bar one time. Two women walked in and said, oh, are there any stars here? And Tex turned to Clark Gable and said, I don't see any, do you? No, I haven't seen any. And the women left all upset. <laughs> the record club was kind of like going into a gigantic Hollywood party, and it was just great fun. And it was very hard to get in, so behind closed doors, they could have as much fun as they wanted. Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn, whose 25-year relationship was an open secret in Hollywood, came to the Racket Club to relax, play tennis, and socialize with their famous friends. Lured to the desert by the Racket Club, many of Hollywood's elite succumbed to the charms of Palm Springs and began to put down some roots of their own in the sand. Tour. Two thousand. Loved it. Loved it. Thank you so much. It was awesome. We had no idea. It's such a tucked away little gem. We had a blast. Hidden treasure. It's fantastic. Uh, incredible. You oh, enjoyed it? Oh, loved it. Those are wonderful units. The whole the whole place is wonderful. Fantastic Great experience. Event. <laughs> it's like going back to the fifties. Fantastic oh, event. Beautiful car. Beautiful house. And great furniture. Fantastic, the most amazing tour I've been on. Every single apartment was incredible. The furniture was amazing, all iconic. The people are so passionate. You've just got to do this tour. It was incredible. Thank you so much. We all thank you, but we had all the fun.